Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina, and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today, we're gonna be covering a highly requested topic, which are comparing all of my lip oils. Now, I have a good handful of lip oils that I've tried in general and I feel like I have a pretty good idea of all of them because I have been using all of them for quite some time so I'm going to be covering a couple different key topics of each lip oil so you guys can get a little bit of comparison and I'll also be swatching each one on my lips so if that's something that you're interested in then let's get started. In true comparison fashion we are going to be talking about subtopics on each of these lip oils so you can kind of get a feel of how each one interacts and works on the lips, I guess. And the different topics that we're gonna be covering are, the first one is gonna be the texture of the lip oil. The second is going to be the smell or taste of them. The third is gonna be the actual way that it looks, the aesthetic of the lip oil. The fourth is gonna be longevity, which is actually something that I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in hearing about. That is a question I get asked a lot when it comes to lip oils. So we're gonna be breaking it up into three. We're gonna do short, medium, and long time wear. Short would be it lasts for an hour or less than an hour to me and medium is going to be about two to three hours of lasting time and then long is going to be three plus hours of lasting time on the lips. Obviously that time frame is going to change depending on if you're eating, if you're drinking, but for the sake of this video we're just going to be talking about the longevity that I've noticed without any major eating without any major drinking you know of course like if you have a sip of water or whatever here and there I'm not gonna really count that but in terms of like having a full-on meal we're not gonna be counting that because for me I typically like to wipe away my lip product whenever I'm gonna eat so I can't really give you an idea of that and as far as lip oils are concerned I find that they are one of the easier products to reapply and in that same regard the last topic that we're gonna be covering is hydration so this is also also, without eating or drinking this is just gonna be the way that it feels how long it stays hydrated and the such if you guys have any additional questions for me about any specific lip oils that I'm gonna be covering then let me know in the comments down below the first lip oil I want to talk about are the Clarins lip oils. Now these have been around for quite some time, however they did recently reformulate them. I have the shades Chocolate and Cherry. I have the shade Chocolate on the lips right now. These have jojoba, hazelnut, sweet briar rose. Those are the key ingredients that they highlighted for this lip oil. So starting off with texture. These are a thin to medium consistency, so they do have a little bit of thickness to them however they are non-sticky they're very comfortable on the lips and they feel like a very substantial amount of thickness for an oil for the smell and taste they do have a very very strong scent I would say the scent is kind of similar to um, a floral scent and honestly I'm not a huge fan for me that is kind of one of the biggest things that deter me from using this lip oil over another one but I am more sensitive when it comes to scents so that is definitely a personal thing but other than that the actual texture of it is really nice but if you are not a fan of scents then be warned because these are very strong as far as the doe foot goes it is quite a fat doe foot I would say that you really only need maybe one swipe to go over the lips actually for me at least I just need like one swipe over the lips instead of going back and forth but I will say if you do tend to have smaller lips this may be a little bit tricky to work with just because that doe foot is pretty chunky so the look of these these are going to be a sheer tint you can still kind of see your natural lip color shining through you can see your lip lines underneath it you know this would be a great alternative product to use in place of a lip gloss because they are quite shiny shiny they give you that same kind of look but they will give you that tint of product on there so it will definitely alter that lip product if you have some underneath like a lip color but I would say that this lip oil I would typically wear alone or just have like a darker lip line lining my lips and just wear it as my 
like sole lip color. Longevity, I gave this one a long time frame of wear. I think that because it does have that thickness to it, it tends to hold on to the lips a little bit longer. And in terms of hydration, I think that these feel very hydrating. They actually feel like they sink into the lips over time and they leave your lips feeling softer than they were prior to wearing this lip oil. I do like them, but I really wish that they were unscented. That's the only thing that really like turns me off from them. Next, we're gonna be talking about the House Labs pH oil. This is in the shade Secondary. I also have Primary and I also have Clear, but this one by far is my favorite one. So the featured ingredients in this one is going to be vegan collagen, prickly pear, and plant squalane. So the texture of this, also a very, very thin textured type of lip oil, and it's non-sticky as well, and it has quite a bit of slip to it. It's a little bit slippery on the lips if you were to rub your lips together versus the Clarins one where it's a little bit thicker. This has no taste, no smell. That is how I prefer my lip oils honestly I like when it's just completely unscented and you can just focus on the way it feels the way it looks you know and the way that it hydrates as far as the doe foot goes this one I would say is kind of like a medium sized doe foot and it's quite stiff but it is easy to work with it has a good shape to it you would probably have to go over just a couple of times to cover the entirety of your lips the look of these I love the secondary shade, like I mentioned. It looks very intimidating and very orange in the tube. However, it turns into kind of this more natural, neutral shade. It kind of brings out a little bit of the pinky peachness to your lips. I know that the shade primary does change, like it reacts to your body's pH levels and it changes into like your better shade I guess of the lip oil um this one I don't know for sure if this does that or if this is just the color right off the bat but either way I really enjoy this color and in terms of the look of all of them I really like how all of the shades look very different from one another you know in terms of longevity so I gave this one a rating of a medium wear time so about two to three hours until I feel like I need to reapply but again lip oil uh, longevity isn't really something I look for because I tend to just bring them with me like chuck them in my purse or something and I'll just reapply as needed and as far as hydration goes I feel like this is very hydrating I think this gives me the same amount of hydration as a lip balm but in the texture of a lip oil so I really like that it doesn't leave my lips feeling crusty or flaky after it goes away it's really nice for prepping the lips whenever I'm doing my makeup and it's really nice to just wear throughout the day I reach for this one a lot and this one specifically in the shade secondary is definitely one of my favorite lip oils right now the next lip oil is another favorite this is the Jaclyn Hill lip oil and I went through this like crazy there was a time where this was like the only lip product that I feel like I was wearing and I would use it to prep my lips I would just use it to hydrate throughout the day and I would use it as my finished like lip color this is in the shade maple drip and I also own the shade petal but obviously maple drip is my favorite the texture of this one it feels very thick on the lips and it is slightly slightly sticky but not in the same sense as a lip gloss more like a sticky lip oil I hope that makes sense to where it's like still it feels like a lip oil but it does have a little bit of a stick to it if you were to press your lips together there is no smell no taste which again is my preference which is why I think I loved this one so much and as far as the doe foot comparatively to the Clarins one they are so extremely similar they're super similar in terms of I mean everything they kind of look exactly the same. So because they're pretty much the same doe foot, they are easy for me to use. However, if you do have smaller lips, they can get quite messy if you're not careful. But I like that I can just swipe it on and be done with it, you know? Um, as far as the look, I love the opacity of these. I feel like this is the perfect amount of full coverage for a lip oil. You can wear it alone, you can wear it with a lip liner, and it looks very shiny and very wet, but without looking 
goopy. You know what I mean? Like sometimes some lip oils can start looking very goopy on the lips. This one I feel like just makes the lips look very wet, very shiny, kind of on the cusp of looking goopy, but not really. So it's that perfect like wet look if you like that like wet drippy look. As far as longevity, this one is actually long wear for me. I feel like it lasts three plus hours because of that more thick texture. I feel like it really holds onto the lips very well. And I feel like it's very hydrating. So yeah, that is the Jaclyn Hill lip oil. This is probably my favorite product from her line. And I think it's like the only product I use. <laughs> from her line now. Next up is the Kosas lip oil. This is in the shade Unbuttoned. And the featured ingredients on this one is gonna be hyaluronic acid, peptides, and evening primrose oil. So this texture, it's slightly sticky, like a very lightly sticky gloss, I guess, um, but it has a lot of slip to it. So if you were to rub your lips together, it's a very slippery lip oil. So this does have a smell, but I don't know exactly what it is. There's no taste. So just a smell, it kind of just smells like a traditional lipstick, you know? I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> This is going to be one of the more opaque lip oils and it does have a quite a small doe foot that kind of curves around to hug your lips. So you do have to do a couple of passes of this in order to, I guess, get like a full opacity, you know? And obviously you can wear a little bit more sheared out if you wanted to. But what I have on right now is kind of like the full opacity of this lip oil. I do really like the way that this looks on the lips. I could wear this like its own lip color instead of wearing like a lipstick and a gloss you can easily just wear this one and you do slightly see your lip line so i would say that this is more of a medium coverage when it comes to opacity longevity i gave this a medium wear time so about two to three hours because it does have that slight stickiness to it and if you count the color as being part of the wear time then yeah it would definitely be around two to three hours of wear out of this one honestly i haven't seen any sort of plumping effects from this it really just feels like a hydrating lip oil to me next up we have the very popular merit shade slicks this is in the shade taupe and actually this one is also one of my favorites of the shade slicks that i own this is not a shade that i typically would have picked out for myself but they sent this to me quite a while ago and it is my absolute favorite it is such a beautiful neutral brown shade on my skin tone as far as the featured ingredients in this this one has rosehip oil, omega-3, 6, and 9, shea butter, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil. So the texture of this is going to be the thinnest consistency of all the lip oils that I'm going to be talking about today, and it feels very, very, very slippery. It doesn't even really feel like an oil. It just kind of feels like a wet gloss that has virtually no stick to it. It does have kind of an off-putting taste. It doesn't have any sort of smell, but if you were to get this in your mouth, it does have a slight like almost rubbing alcohol taste to it. It's very odd, but it's not something that I experience often because I don't really have that issue where I have my lip products seeping into my mouth. It's very unnoticeable but when i was trying to figure out if these had if these lip oils had any smell or taste and i had to kind of taste it i did taste that rubbing alcohol taste this doe foot is going to be the smallest doe foot of all of the lip oils that i'm going to be discussing today it's very tiny it's a pretty stiff doe foot so you will have to dip back into the tube and do a couple of passes if you do want that full opacity it's almost more reminiscent or it can kind of pass as a glossy lipstick as well as a lip oil. The longevity of this, I gave this a short wear time because it is so thin, it's so slippery. It does have the tendency to kind of fade on the lips very quickly, but again, because it is that lip oil kind of format, it's very easy to reapply, it's very no fuss, and if you're familiar with Merit products, then you know that they are all about minimal beauty, so everything is kind of there to just like enhance things, so this is very easy to just throw in your purse, reapply as needed, and it's very no fuss. 
I love how minimal it is, but in terms of hydration, I honestly don't really see much long lasting effects of this. It feels good and hydrating on the lips when you have it on, but what I mean by not really having any long lasting hydration is that this is not one of the lip oils that I would use to prep my lips whenever I'm gonna do my makeup or after my skincare routine or in place of a lip balm, you know what I mean? This is more for the aesthetic, the way that it looks, the way that it feels, you know, if I just want something comfortable but also gives me a really pretty lip color, I would reach for the Merit Shade Slick. Next we have the Ulta lip oil. This is in the shade 368, which I don't remember what that is. I know that they're all, they all have actual names, but I don't remember which one this one was. So the featured ingredients in this one is Alaria Esculenta extract and a vitamin E oil. In terms of texture of this, it feels like more of a traditional gloss when it's going on the lips, you know? Like when you're gliding it on, it's very reminiscent to a gloss. However, once it's on the lips, it feels very slightly sticky. The texture is also pretty thick like a gloss. There's very, very little, very minimal stickiness to this one. It does have a floral scent to it but there is no taste and I like the doe foot of this I like it because it is that mirrored sat like doe foot where both sides look exactly alike so you can just apply it flip it over and then continue to apply instead of having to dip back into the tube here as you guys can see it's a very very wet very juicy looking lip oil it's probably the most wet juicy lip oil that i own and that we're going to be talking about in this video but honestly i would say that the tint of this one as well as the other ones that i've tested out they don't really make much of a difference I can't really speak on the more pinky, more red shades, but um, from what I can tell, it's pretty much clear. At least this one is pretty much clear on my lips. I gave this like in between a medium to long wear because it does have that slight stickiness to it. For lack of a better term, uh, it's kind of thicker and gloopier so it lasts longer on the lips you know and because it has that slight stickiness to it it does feel hydrating but it doesn't feel like a deep hydration you know what i mean like when you have it on your lips and it's sitting there throughout the day it feels hydrating while it's there but once it fades i don't feel like i have to wear a lip balm afterwards but i also could use a lip balm afterwards so it's kind of like right in between it's it's pretty hydrating when you have it on but you know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be the only, like I'm only gonna have to apply it once in the day and be good for the rest of the day. Next up we have the NYX Fat Oil. These of course were very popular and I have the shade Scroll In. I also have the shade Status Update, but recently I've been really liking this shade a lot. So the featured ingredients in this one is vegan squalane, raspberry oil, and cloudberry oil. This texture is more of a medium thickness and it has a little bit of stickiness, but again, not in intensely but in terms of an oil it is more of that sticky oil texture the taste and the smell of this so unfortunately the smell of this is very similar to the clarins one however this one is more subtle than that one but they do have sort of that sweet kind of sickly scent to them. No taste from what I can tell, mainly just the scent of it. The doe foot, very similar again to the Clarins one, very similar to the Jaclyn Hill one, but it's kind of odd because it seems like the doe foot doesn't actually hold on to any product other than on the very top and the very bottom. It doesn't really have much product on it, which is kind of funny. So you just have a little bit of product dolloped on top, but that's plenty to cover the lips and then you kind of just use the doe foot to spread evenly all of that oil i don't know if mine is bad uh it doesn't look great in the tube it kind of looks like it's separated a little bit maybe mine is bad do they all look like that let me know if you own this <laughs> In terms of how it looks on the lips, it has a really good color payoff. I would say the color payoff is similar to the Mirrored Shades Slick, but it's a little less opaque. You still can see your lip lines through it, and I think it would pair really well with a lip liner because you would still be able to see that lip liner through it very well. Again, because it does have that sticky aspect to it, I feel like it lasts pretty long on the lips, especially if I, you know, 
pack it on. In terms of hydration, honestly, I don't really feel like this has long lasting hydration. To me, this actually acts more like a lip gloss that's labeled as a lip oil. I treat this more like a lip gloss than a lip oil. Man, I'm really concerned about the way that that looks. Next up, we have the pretty popular Gisu lip oil or Jisu lip oil. This is a honey infused lip oil and the featured ingredients in this are Mersalhi honey, hyaluronic acid, Mersali bee garden oil blend, which is supposed to help strengthen the lip skin barrier. Texture of this one, it's very thin, very slippery. It's not sticky at all. I would say that this one is very quintessential lip oil when it comes to the texture of it. The taste and smell, it may have like a slight honey scent to it, very, very subtle, like if I really try to smell it, but for all intents and purposes, whenever I actually apply it onto my lips, I don't really notice any taste or smell of this. The doe foot on this is going to be the thinnest doe foot. It also has a slight angle to it. It's quite nice actually to apply to the lips and it does have a little bit of like bendiness to it. As far as the look of this, so I thought whenever I was using this at first, it just was like a clear lip oil, but then I saw someone applying it on Instagram and she said that she loves this lip oil, but she can't get over how it gives her like this yellow hue and then I was like does it actually so I applied it on myself and it really does give you like a yellowish hue it's kind of odd I didn't notice it before but now it's like all I notice so I don't know it's not enough to deter me from using it honestly because I do like the texture of this yeah it does have that kind of weird yellowy tone to it. It's a pretty short wear time. I feel like because it's so thin, it kind of just wears away into the lips, but I do feel like it actually feels hydrating like a lip balm. It leaves my lips feeling very, very hydrated. My only con, and it's a pretty big one, is that I can only use this one at home because it tends to leak. Like this packaging, it tends to get really goopy and stuff right around here and it leaks everywhere. If I lay it down, like, on its side, it does end up leaking a little bit, so that's kind of a bummer for me. All right, next I have this Bubel lip oil or Bubble lip oil. I, I'm not quite sure how to say it, but they sent this to me a couple weeks back, and this one features vegan squalane and jojoba oil. It's more like a hybrid moisturizing lip treatment as well as like a, a lip plumper in one because it does have a plumping aspect to it. So in terms of the texture of this, it is more of a thin consistency and it's not sticky and it has a good amount of slip to it. So I would say that this is a little thicker than the Merit Shade Slick in my opinion, the way that it feels. So it's still very thin in that sense, but it does have a little bit more thickness to it. The actual plumping effect, it does have like that sort of tingly, prickly plumping effect, but it's not intense whatsoever. It's not like, you know, Too Faced, like their lip injection, that's pretty intense, or the Buxom plump shot. It's nothing like that. This one is pretty tame in my opinion. The taste and smell, it does have a very, very sweet floral scent and it tastes a little bit chemically, so it kind of lingers, like the smell kind of lingers, and right now as I'm talking, I can I can almost like taste the floral notes to it. That smell does end up fading a little bit within a couple of minutes. So the doe foot, it is that teardrop applicator that has a little hole in the center, so it kind of holds onto the product that way. So you're able to get a good amount of product onto the lips with just one like dip into the tube. If anything, if you want a little bit more opacity, you can go back into the tube and you should be good on maybe just two dips, you know? The way that it looks, I think that it has pretty much like full opacity in terms of a lip oil. You can slightly see your natural lips underneath it, but I think a lot of it has to do with the color of this one. This is in the shade Desert Sand. For me, I like the shade, but I would like it more if I top a lip liner with it, you know what I mean? So this would look better to me if I wore a darker lip line on the outside and then wore this all over the lips. It's just a little bit lighter than what I prefer to use as like my only lip product. But it does make my lips look very wet and I honestly feel like it slightly plumps my lips even if it's just very temporary, maybe like as I'm wearing the lip product and a little bit after it fades, but 
I do feel like it slightly plumps. This is somewhere between short and medium wear. Like it can kind of vary between short and medium, especially if I'm wearing a lip liner underneath. I feel like it kind of holds on to that lip oil a little bit more. Hydration wise, it feels slightly hydrating again as you're wearing it, but it doesn't seem to give any long-term hydration. Lastly, we are including the Rare Beauty lip oils and it seems like on Sephora's website as well as on uh, Rare Beauty's website, they actually changed the description of these to be a lip stain, like a glossy lip stain, which is very interesting because they were first marketed as a lip oil, but now they are marketed as a lip stain. And I think a lot of that has to do with the feedback that they received about the formulation. But because this was introduced to me as a lip oil, that's why I'm uh, including it in this video. So the featured ingredients in this one is jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil. And the texture of this is very interesting. It's a gel to oil formulation in my opinion and it has a very cooling very minty sensation to it almost like it's trying to plump the lips you know um, but it feels very nice it feels very refreshing and it's very interesting because this texture again starts off as kind of a jelly and then changes to an oil and then it turns into a stain as you wear it for longer it does have a slight chemical scent to it and it also doesn't taste great either. I have a whole video swatching all of the shades of these, so check that out if you're interested in more in-depth information on this. It is a very long, thin, and angled doe foot, so you get a lot of precision out of this, and it's easy to apply and just swipe on to the lips one time, and you can use the point to kind of further perfect the outer corners of the lips. Now the look of these, the first thing I want to touch on is it's very interesting because when you first swipe this on the lips, especially this shade in the shade Honesty, it starts off as a very light nude shade and as you continue to swipe it on, it gets darker until it eventually looks like a darker like pinky brown shade, which is very weird. All of the shades tend to do that. Um, they go on to the lips very light in color and then they start to darken as you apply on the lips, which is very odd, but also very cool. This one has the most color payoff in terms of opacity, you know? In terms of the second half of how it looks, the staining portion of it it's very staining it leaves your lips very very pigmented but i feel like it doesn't fade evenly if we're talking in terms of a stain it does start to fade on the inner portions of the lips and then it slowly fades out onto the outer portions of the lips so in terms of longevity this one is tricky because in terms of how glossy it is and how it looks as a lip oil it's a very short-term wear i would say it lasts for an hour maybe two hours of gloss and then in terms of the stain it's a long wear so I can get this to stain my lips for three plus hours so all in all I guess a happy medium would be medium wear but if we're talking like longevity of it as an oil then it would be short term <laughs> It feels very hydrating on the lips when it is glossy. It feels nice and slippery and very hydrating. But once you continue to wear this throughout the day, when it hits that stain portion, it does feel slightly drying. Whenever it hits that part, I will either reapply or, you know, just apply a lip balm or lip oil on top of it. Alrighty guys, those were all of the lip oils that I own. Everything that I could think of in terms of reviewing all of them. I hope that you found this video helpful. I know it was very specific and very detailed, so I hope that was helpful for you guys in terms of picking lip oils and seeing it in comparison to other ones. If you are fans of some of these lip oils, let me know. If you have some of the same favorites that I do, let me know. And also, if you have any recommendations for me, because I know there are tons of lip oils out there that I have yet to try, then leave those in the comments down below. I would love to pick those up and try them out and let you guys know what I think about them. I will have all of those product linked in the description box down below. I'll also have it linked within the video. You'll see the little shopping bag icon where it says view products. If you click on that, it'll bring you straight to the links for all of the products and those are within YouTube shopping affiliate program. So I do get commission if you end up shopping through those links. But that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!